let's get straight to the highlights of tonight's big match at Rugby Park now between Kilmarnock and Celtic. Here's how the teams lined up at the start. Bobby Williamson with a tried and trusted lineup, but still without first choice goalkeeper Gordon Marshall. Martin Baker making up the back four, which was Scotland's meanest defence last season. Paul Wright up front, Ali McCoy starting on the bench. Celtic without Mark Viduka, whose training injury on Friday had been kept a secret. Mark Burchill gets a starting place alongside Larson. Vidar Reseth at left back and a back four. Match commentator, Peter Martin. Rugby Park, never an easy place for Celtic to travel to and try and get a win. Two wins in the last eight visits here. And on the Asia coast, Rugby Park has very much been the graveyard of Celtic's title aspirations over the last couple of seasons. Early stages of the match, Celtic, as you would expect, gaining most of the momentum early on. There's Burchill, he'll beat McGowan for speed. Larson's available, Mark Burchill might go himself, plays it across, good save, Colin Meldrum. Excellent play by the Kilmarnock goalkeeper, and it needed to be a lovely ball from Larson. Burchill beating McGowan for pace, he looked up, and he actually, to be fair to him, looked for the crossover. Bobby Williamson, well happy with the way his side have kept things tight in the early stages of this match. Nice ball to Gary Holt. Once again, space down this channel, Holt. Good tackle by Paul Lambert, the captain for this evening. Ten minutes gone. Corner to Kilmarnock. McGowan's in there. Mialbi watches closely. And Durant to the corner. There's the ball to the back. Ali Mitchell. Right under that ball. Larson coming away from Martin Baker, lovely play. Trying to get the early ball in once again. Oh, Kamanaka mix up there. Gary Holt and Colin Meldrum forced to give away the corner. Kamanaka have to defend. 24 minutes gone. Moravchik with the corner. There's the header. Blocked heavily. Tries to get it towards goal. Second chance header. Easily held by Colin Meldrum. Put through to Burchill, here's a chance, can he hit the target? Burchill delayed his shot, allowed Jim Laughlin the chance to make the saving tackle. Yet another corner, Moravchik this time. All the way to the back. Still in the danger area, Mialbi cleared off the line, Gus McPherson. A wry smile on his face, but he saved Kamarnock from going behind. Dangerous corner by Moravchik all the way to the back. Stubbs heading it towards Mialbi. Mialbi saved by Gus McPherson. McGowan trying the flick, gets away with it. Paul Wright looks up now. Here's a chance. McPherson, Celtic caught out on the back foot. Lovely ball across, cleared away. Jackie McNamara. Now, here's Moravchik. Are we going to see some magic from the Slovakian? Two players around him, swings a lovely ball in Larson. Two Celtic players getting in each other's road. One wonders if that affected Larson's eventual header. And one wonders if Larson did get the shout from Burley, who looked as if he was in a better position to get the direction towards goal. Celtic trying to play on the break quickly. Here's Mike Namara. Can he keep it in? Looking up, trying to play the early ball, and it's a poor pass at that from Mike Namara. And that's a poor clearance. Now, what can he do this time? Draws it back to Moravchik, drives it. Blocked by Gary Holt. Lambert tries it from 30 yards. And Paul Lambert has been known to drive a ball into the roof of the net. Motherwell and Rangers fans will testify to that. Baker. Tackle from Stubbs. Referee Kenny Clark brings the first half to a close. Chances few and far between. Mark Burchill probably a judge to have the best of them, but delaying too much on the ball. 
And it's been a half where really no real chances of notes. And at the end of the first 45 minutes, it's Kilmarnock nil, Celtic nil. Second half gets underway and one can only keep one's fingers crossed. Now we get a better second 45 minutes than we did the first. Very much a non-event for the spectator. Chances few and far between. And the last time these two sides met here at Rugby Park, back in March of this year, it was nil-nil. And the way things are going at the moment, it wouldn't be too difficult to suggest that it could end up the same after 90 minutes. The midfield battle hasn't been won by any other team. And here's a chance now for Celtic to break. Good tackle by Baker once again. And he gives away the corner. There's the cross, clearing header by Gary Holt. Terribly is witnessing the attention of Paul Wright and taking no chances. Here's Burley. Hagen. Well held up by Michael Jeffrey. Oh, he's onside, Paul Wright. Linesman keeps his flag down. Here's a chance for Kilmarnock. He's hit the bar. Paul Wright with a fabulous opportunity. Well, he holds his head in his hands. He was quite clearly onside there. Celtic. Seem to have been stung into action. Craig Burley, if they ever needed a wake-up call, it was from Paul Wright, almost giving Kelly the lead. Birchall, Larson peeling off. Good control, doesn't get away from Gus McPherson. Celtic fans feel they should have had a penalty. Well, Larson... Well, it looks towards Gus McPherson. And the evidence there, Larson... Clearly... Thinks McPherson had a case to answer. Now it's Kilmarnock with the opportunity to pose a few problems down the other end of the field. Baker playing the early ball in, Stubbs is there again. Petta plays the early pass out to Larson. Lovely control by the Swedish international. Chance for Birchall, switches his run. Larson holding the ball up, looking for support. Lambert, Burley. Birchall. Inside is a chance for Mark Burchill, he scored! Burchill has scored for Celtic! <laughs> 72 minutes gone, the breakthrough finally, Baker caught out, Burchill took advantage, slips it past Colin Meldrum, it was a lovely ball from Craig Burley, and the breakthrough goes Celtic's way. Martin Baker caught on the back foot, Burchill and his speed took advantage. Kilmarnock nil, Celtic one. Baker trying to play it in, Tebbley covering. Chance again for Ali Mitchell. Mitchell cleared away by reset. Here's a chance for Durant. Can he get his foot round it? He can't. Ian Durant trying to roll back the years. He had the opportunity, just trying to get the ball down. Reseth eventually blocking it. Free kick, Michael Jeffrey. And Tebbley might be in trouble here. He's had a few incidents where he's been barging into the back of Jeffrey. Here's a chance for Kilmarnock, Tebbley will get booked this time. Yes, Olivier Tebbley booked for persistent fouling. Now, here's an opportunity. Lovely turn by Michael Jeffrey. Paul Wright has scored from this position before against Celtic. He knows what it takes, Durant tries it.
No, Wright has scored against Celtic from a similar position, but on this occasion, the ex-Rangers man performs his last piece of action on the field. And it's one former Rangers player making way for another. Ali McCoist into the real action of Premier League football. Michael Jeffrey makes way. Alex Burke on the field. And it's the last throw of the dice from Bobby Williamson. McGowan, two, three Celtic players. Eventually he loses possession. Burley. Larson turning one player. Larson gets away from him. Henrik Larson is it the dream finish for him? It is no just past the pose. Henrik Larson, one player, then the nutmeg. And he drove that ball past Colin Meldrum. Bobby Williamson checks his watch and realizes that it will be a last gasp effort from his side. Craig Brown looking on. There's a young pretender to the throne in Mark Birchall for the striking positions for Scotland in the future. Injury time in this match. Free kick to Celtic. Bobby Petter. The head flick on. There's Tebley with another chance to shoot. Drives it in with the left. Larson, 2-0. The referee acknowledges the assistant referee. Larson's offside. He's clearly unhappy with the decision. The replay may well shed some light on it. Well, it looked as if it would have been Mark Birchall, if anything. <laughs> Referee Kenny Clark brings the game to an end. It was close. There wasn't much between the two sides apart from Mark Birchall in 72 minutes with a finish which was more akin to his speed that took him away from Martin Baker. The <laughs>